Forecast going to blow us away? Yeah, again today, unfortunately, we still have a wind advisory up for the areas north and also west of the city. That goes until 3 o'clock. I think at that point, we start to kind of calm everything down. Uh, the lake, not all that feisty from this picture right here, but we do still have those winds that are going to be churning it up at least a bit out over uh, the lakefront and certainly out over portions of Michigan, uh, considering the flow that we have uh, coming in many areas uh, from the south and west. David Sprout in Bourbon A has an 8-mile-an-hour wind, nothing there, but Eugene Wooden also sustained at 19 and Terry Coletta. Wow, he's got a 28 mile per hour wind up in Genoa. So we do still have quite a bit of wind gust activity coming through. Again, that advisory north and west through 3 p.m. It's also much colder with highs only around 50 today. It's going to be below average now for the rest of the week pretty much. Look at the rest of today. We barely even get out of the upper 40s as we move into the afternoon. We still have wind with us all the way up through about 5 o'clock and starting to taper a bit into the evening hours. Your feels like temperatures are something of note today because even though actual temps are a little warmer, it feels only like 39 degrees in Aurora. 40 O'Hare, 40 Midway, 50 for Gary, and 52 for Valparaiso. Your wind speeds are sustained in the teens and 20s, gusting even higher, as I showed you earlier in the show. We do still have those light showers. It's very light activity, but it's out there. It's going to wet you down, uh, quickly moves on by. We'll continue to see that possibility through 2 o'clock with still a few kind of light showers scattered around. That continues into the 5 o'clock hour, and then kind of clearing up as skies clear through the overnight, having a kind of a cold start the day tomorrow. We go to a high today of 52 or so, but 58 degrees, a little warmer, a little bit better out there for you on your Wednesday. Your Thursday's at 52, and then for Friday, 49 degrees. Uh, so that's the coldest high temperature that we're going to have out there. And then moving into the weekend, looks like it may actually be pretty sunny, pretty dry, but still in the 50s. We can do the 50s. It's when we're still in the 40s. That's pretty tough. This time of the year, we should be right around 60 degrees.